Hey there, friends. It's 7 p.m. and I'm here. Um, if you're here too, give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you're hearing me okay. Um, thanks for coming. Um, and you are, if you're joining me live, really thank you for giving up part of your evening. Oh, hi, Jennifer. Okay, thank you. Hi. <laughs> um, I'm joining you from Alton, Maryland. So if you're across the country, um, that is basically at the top of the Chesapeake Bay. And I'm in my usual spot on a Wednesday night. Usually this time on Wednesday, I am hosting my Zoom meeting with my Emergency Health Fix Live crew. And um, we meet every single week and talk about all the things that we've been chatting about all week. My live team, if you're not aware, is my everyday support team. Oh, hi, friends. Hi. Okay. I'm, uh, so I'm used to seeing you face to face, which I love. Um, not all members of that team show up face to face. Um, and, th and that's just fine. We record those meetings. And so um, my members can listen to them at any time. Um, but I'm not used to just speaking to a camera and, and keeping track of chat. So I will try to do that. And if you have any questions for me, just let me know. Oh, Miss Piggy, too, is Yvonne. Okay, hi. <laughs> I didn't realize. <laughs> Hello there. So, okay. Um, um, so thank you to my live crew, especially um, because they're giving up their face-to-face -face time and their personal time that they pay for. Um, my live crew are the people that are with me every day. They are my support team. Um, and we they get continuous support from me 24-7 um, around the clock, some of them throughout the entire year. Uh, so they're my clients that I call my VIPs. Um, sometimes I call them my fixed nation because <laughs> they are my team. Um, so thanks to them for giving up their time for me. Um, I'm going to try to find us some new friends tonight by talking in general a little bit about the program. Um, so don't let me get ahead of myself. Um, for anyone that doesn't know me out there, I should be introducing myself. So I'm Dr. Aaron. Um, I am a real person, which I know sounds funny, but um, not. <laughs> I have about 50% of my clients that really have never seen me and I've never seen them. And that's by design um, because, as you know, I help people who are pretty desperate health wise. Um, of course, not all of my clients are, des are in desperate situation, but um, a lot are. And the people that really need me the most oftentimes do not even want to be seen at the start. Um, and so they don't want to show up to a weigh in and they don't they don't even want to be on camera or on Zoom. So um, I do offer when I meet new clients through email or on Instagram or wherever to um, Zoom with them right away when they become clients. Um, but not all people choose that. So. I don't always know my clients and sometimes I get surprised out in public um, when people come up to me and tell me how much success they've had with me because I sometimes don't know you and you sometimes don't know me. Um, and I've had, I've had a client um, actually Darren who you guys, you guys probably know from my social media because Darren just contacted me recently with an update and he's lost 77 pounds and Darren, I'm not sure if you're out there, but um, I think we're coming up on a nearly one year anniversary together. So um, Darren was one of the people that when he first talked with me on Zoom following the Accelerator program was like, oh, my God, you're real. So <laughs> he made me realize that there are people out there that think that I'm just uh, some sort of computer program, even though I send very personal messages to you all day long. <laughs> so um, anyway, I'm Dr. Aaron. When you speak with me through my programs, you speak directly to me and I speak directly back. So we're always communicating and nobody else is doing the communicating for me. Um, and in case you're wondering, yes, I am a real doctor. Um, I didn't get my degree through the mail. I did it the hard way. Um, I'm an MD. Specifically, I'm a board certified emergency medicine physician. That sounds like a bunch of gobbledygook. I know. Um, to to most, most everyone out there, that just means I'm an ER doctor. And yes, I'm still practicing. I'm in the ER all the time. And, you know, in the ER, about 5% of the time, I'm doing that dramatic stuff that you see on TV, on programs like ER. Um, and about 95% of the time, I'm really just taking care of chronic conditions. And so, um, you know, my, my work with Emergency Health Fix really spawned out of some of the frustration I had as an ER doctor with just seeing chronic things come in 
over and over and over again. Um, and, you know, and chronic conditions really shouldn't be managed in the emergency department. They should be managed by our family practitioners, by our internists, by our pediatricians. But when I would talk to these patients, the patients were so frustrated. And what I found out from talking to a lot of patients is often they were not having their conditions managed or prevented in any way or managed backwards, like let's solve these problems. Instead, they were just given sort of like empty advice like we all get, um, you know, exercise more, eat less, which doesn't work, um, or just give them prescriptions. And, you know, increasing costs of medications plus lots of doctor's visits that aren't paying off is, is just what's frustrating all those patients out there. So routinely, I always ask my patients in the ER, you know, how may I help you? It's my very first question. And a lot of times these people just like die on my doorstep and they really just say, you know, how can you fix me? And so became the fix. Um, because really, you know, in, in 30 in a 30 minute ER visit, it's not really the time. And I can't really fix problems that have been going on for 20, 30, sometimes 50 years, um, of making poor decisions day to day in a 30 minute ER visit. But, um, can you fix me? Yes. That was my, in my head, the answer is yes, I can certainly fix you. I know how to fix you, but that would require, I come home with you, number one, and watch what you're doing day to day, hour to hour, and figure out what is it that you're doing wrong. And most of, for most of us, what we're really doing wrong is um, feeding ourselves in an awful way. We're just not getting the nutrients that we need. We're, eat, we're going home, we're eating our favorite foods. We're not thinking about what those favorite foods have inside them, how they help our bodies, how they change our health. And so when I change people's nutrition in general, I can change their entire life. So, um, yeah, so that was easy to say, but not easy to do working in the ER. And so I just started, you know, thinking on that over and over. And, and what happened in my home life um, was I started using my friends as guinea pigs, you know. So, so um, Sharon and Monica, if you're out there, thank you very much. You were my first guinea pigs. Um, and what we did really was use sort of a copycat style of doing things. Um, they would literally grocery shop with me. And also, um, we would just message each other through our phones. I would message recipes. I would message what I'm cooking day to day, hour to hour, and they would copy me. And lo and behold, like, um, you know, five or six days in, they were both feeling super great. Um, and we were able to repeat that with many friends. And three months in, um, a lot of people were down 20, 30, and 40 pounds. So we knew we had a recipe for success. And if you were with me in the very early stages, we were in fact doing just group messaging. And so we were messaging through our phones and I was trying to keep it anonymous, but it was kind of difficult. So, okay, fast forward, my husband um, decides that he didn't like um, not joining in on all the progress. So he decided to jump in. And with that, he brought his talent for programming. So um, my husband developed an app for our program. And that app is called the Texting Parrot app. Um, and you guys may love the Texting Parrot. Um, my mother loves the Texting Parrot. Uh, she's always telling me how the parrot is talking to her today because she's part of my live support group. And I have to remind her, of course, that the parrot is in fact me. <laughs> so I know. <laughs> thanks, Jennifer. I know everybody loves the little parrot app. So um, the parrot app allows for communication. So if there's anything that's unique about my program, it is the two-way communication. Um, I know that there are lots of programs out there where you, where you can zoom on with a doc, you can get a plan, they basically send you with the plan and you're off to do it on your own. That's not how I work. I'm gonna be with you 24 seven. So we talk back and forth every hour if you want to um, and you're asking me questions and I'm doing answering and meanwhile, you're getting your education as well. So that's all through the magic of the Texting Parrot app. And if you happen to be a group or a business that could also benefit from two-way communication um, between lots of people, um, the Texting Parrot app can be yours also. So it's, it's not just mine, um, but it is the app that I use to speak to my emergency health fix clients. So, all right. All right. So let me tell you what happens when you sign up. So this is, I know if you've already been with me, you kind of know what this process is like. 
But I know if you love this and you're trying to explain it to people that it's really hard to explain to people what all it entails because it's a really big process and it's an ongoing process. Um, you know, I teach a lifestyle. I always say that I teach a lifestyle, not a, not a diet. It's not something you're going to start and stop. It's something you're going to learn and then learn how to adjust and then learn how to keep it in your life forever. So um, I know if you've already been through part of the process, you know how it works, but you may want to send your friends. I'm going to keep this video up and live. You may want to send your friends and family to help them kind of understand what's happening. So, okay. When you sign up, I will send you into my beginner program first. All of them necessitate that you do accelerator first. Load, right? Like accelerator has everything in it. I tell people all the time that if you're ready for it, because accelerator is like a bazooka, like it comes at you fast, right? Like a fire hose. Um, if you're ready for accelerator, let's say you're already pretty healthy. You're already a healthcare professional. You already know about macros. You already work out all the time, whatever it is about you. If you're ready for the information and you're ready to make the change and you're very motivated, accelerator might be all you need. So you might go through one time and get all you need for the rest of your life. Like I get it. I see the pathway. I'm done. Um, but accelerator moves really fast. Hey, Autumn. <laughs> hey, Kati. So uh, a lot of people need to repeat it. Uh, and, and like some people just aren't ready. Sometimes it's a really big change. And if it's not at all what you've been doing and we're needing to break habits that have been ingrained for 50 years, um, then it may be something that you need to repeat. All of my other programs are branches off of Accelerator. So they just extend the learning in all those different directions. But everything that I teach is in that first course. So I'm, I'm not kidding when I say sometimes Accelerator may be all you need. Um, so, okay, what do you get when you sign up for Accelerator? First of all, um, you'll get, uh, you have to sign up, uh, you have to do a medical screening form. So I need to know all about you. This helps me figure out, you know, what are we dealing with? So first we go, I'll send you a medical assessment. Um, we'll take a look at your weight. We'll figure out what is your current health status. Um, we'll talk about your medical problems. I'll take a look at your medicines. Um, we will talk about food allergies. If that's at my assessment, we will talk about some initial goals in that assessment. I always invite people to meet with me on Zoom, but almost nobody takes me up on that offer. In general, the people that are people that are very anxious about starting the program, and then they just really say hi, and that's it. <laughs> but if you have an extensive amount of medical problems, or you have a concern about a particular problem, certainly we can Zoom before this starts. And if you need to Zoom before you sign up, I'm fine with that too. I'm always here. So um, just email me, and, and we can set that up. Um, so you will get a possible Zoom if you want that. Um, you will receive four videos. They're 10 minutes each, so they're not really overwhelming. Um, one is teaching you how to do a self-assessment. So that assessment that I send you is something that you can do and should repeat on your own. So you should repeat it about every three months. Um, and you can also help your family members do their own self-assessment and try to figure out, do they need help? Should they be making changes? Um, the other three videos are about the macros. So if you don't know that term at all, it doesn't matter. You're going to learn. Um, you'll get one on protein, one on fat, and one on carbs. And that provides the basic foundation for the types of foods that you're going to hear from me in the program about. So if you're wondering what types of foods you should have in your house, they're going to start with that video. You'll also receive a suggested grocery shopping list, which is not fully, it's not very extensive, but um, it contains a lot of the basics. Um, and you will receive an accelerator startup packet that has in it the outline and all the rules to get started. So that sounds like a lot, right? So when people start with me, I hope it's this, this doesn't always happen, but I, I hope that they sign up with me about a week in advance. So if you've been with me before and, you, and you're trying to get family members to sign up, please get them signed up about a week in advance because this is a lot right up front. There's sort of a very steep learning curve with Accelerator that goes on in the week before and then maybe the first few days and then everything starts to get easier. 
So um, if you're not a beginner and you're going on through the other programs, you can sign up an hour before. That's fine. But the, ver the very beginners, I need to work with a little bit just to help them get up to date with being ready to start. So um, following that, that's just the prep, right, for Accelerator. Following that on the next program launch date, so that's usually sometime in that first week of every month. My programs launch every month. So every month I have a new set of beginners and I have a new set of people moving on through the other programs. Um, on the day of the launch date, you will suddenly receive a message from me with your link to the Texting Parrot. With that link, you'll come in and join your group. Your group will be a bunch of other beginners. Um, they're anonymous. Usually, uh, we know you by only your first name. You're welcome to use any name you like. You can be completely anonymous. Nobody cares. Nobody knows. So um, if you have a name that's very unique, like Autumn, <laughs> and you want to hide behind a different name, that's fine. So once you're in your group and say hello, um, those are the people that you're going to get trained with in, in the case of Accelerator for 21 days. That's a three-week program. So we'll start exchanging messages back and forth. Um, some of it is education. Baseline, you're going to receive education from me all day, every, every day of those 21 days. Um, you will get supportive messages from me. Um, and we'll exchange recipes and meals. And it won't just be me exchanging. It will be your friends in your group as well. Um, so sometimes I have very chatty groups. Other times I have very quiet groups. I'm OK with either one. Um, and, you know, sometimes people will go through completely silently and say nothing the entire time. And six months later, I'll find out that they, they're living their best life. And that's, <laughs> that's all wonderful. Um, but so what, what exactly will you receive? I'm going to give you an example. Like on day one, prior to breakfast, you will receive like, hey, it's breakfast time. This is like in message form on your app. You'll get a little ring. You'll see it. It's breakfast time. Um, or it's nearly breakfast time. These are some of the things that I might eat at my breakfast time. Here's some options. Okay. And then you're thinking like, how would I have the same thing as you? That's what that week prep, why I'm talking about having that prep, because you will know already what kinds of foods you maybe should have in your house to get up and running. Um, sometimes people join the program very late, like the, the hour before it's about to start. And so they're not ready, but it's kind of okay. It, um, because I'm, I deal with real foods, right? So it's very unusual that somebody doesn't have at least eggs in their house. So um, you can always get started with what you have and go shopping in the first 48 hours to kind of fill in the blanks. So, okay. Um, so that's the kind of things that you'll get. The program is really interactive. So the more you put into it, the more you get out. Um, and that's just how it goes. So sometimes people will go through the first time and realize like, darn, I, I should have asked a lot more questions. Or they'll talk to a friend who was in another group not all of my groups are identical. Um, in fact, when I have friends sign up together or especially couples sign up together, I will very frequently separate them because I know they're going to get double education for their money because the groups share all sorts of things. Accelerator was life changing. Oh, thanks, Kati. Yeah, <laughs> for me, too. I, I went through this program, too. Yeah, Accelerator was so fun, said Kate. Thanks. Um, and Autumn agrees. Hey, <laughs> that's awesome, guys. Okay, so what, what's going to go on in Accelerator? So um, three weeks, right? And so I can divide them up for you just so you know sort of what to expect. Week one is all about sugar detox. So why do I teach about sugar detox? Why, why low carb? What's the deal with low carb? The idea is to improve your health. I teach the science. And the science shows that dropping sugar and dropping manufactured foods out of your life is the number one way to improve your health. Um, and typically my clients feel that radical improvement by like day five, not kidding, uh, day, maybe day seven for some of the people that, that don't that take a little bit longer to get there. But um, I'm talking about things like um, getting rid of, fixing your chronic pain, not waking up with arthritis pain. Um, high blood pressure is gone within five days. Um, your cholesterol will take a little bit for us to fix, but we'll have that fixed as well. Irritable bowel changes can be resolved within a week. Reflux is usually gone in three days. Um, at you, and look on my website. There's testimony for all this stuff. It happens over and over again, and it's always amazing. Um, anxiety gets better. Depression gets better. Uh, 
little things like snoring, sleep apnea, those machines that people are wearing go out the door very quickly. Uh, small things uh, in any kind of inflammatory condition. So small things like acne, eczema, psoriasis, people that are dealing with terrible rashes, those typically improve. I've even had people tell me that moles on their body have result, have gone away or gotten smaller. Certainly if you have big problems, so it's a no brainer. If you're diabetic, if you've had a heart attack, if you've had a stroke, you're battling things like Parkinson's, dementia, and dementia is a tough one because we may need some help from somebody with you, but um, these are things that can all improve. Um, some no brainer type stuff for doing a low carb diet. So like for people who a low carb diet is recommend, recommended to take care of your problem, type two diabetes can be wiped out, erased with a low carb diet. So that's a no brainer. Uh, migraines can be erased. Problems with PCOS, that's polycystic ovarian syndrome, um, which leads to a lot of cases in, of infertility in young women can be changed with a low carb diet. People with seizure disorder, uh, a low carb diet can change your life and stop you from having seizures. So for some people, it's a real no brainer. I wonder how you sorted out the group, says Autumn. Several of my coworkers did it and we were separated. <laughs> yeah. yeah, when I know that people are gonna be talking, I, I typically will separate you. I mean, some people insist they wanna be together and it can be fun for, for people to be together especially for relatives that are on other sides of the country and then they're talking every day and they love that kind of thing. But um, when uh, other times, you know, I, I talk to people about the benefit of being in different groups and it, it's, it's really beneficial when you start sharing things like, Hey, what's going on in your group? Um, you can get a lot more information. So, okay. That's week one, all about sugar detox. We, we learn to go low carb together. Some of us suffer through um, I get you through the withdrawal uh, with direction, lots of direction. So the, the more you know about what you're going to experience, the better you can treat it. And you have a group. So you have everyone in your group to uh, lean on, talk to, and really, it doesn't take long. Really, what we're talking about is like feeling like you might be a little under the weather for just a few days. Okay. Um, week two is all about metabolic disease. So it's all about learning what, what, low carb is doing inside your body. Um, so I try to bring that down to lay person's terms and make it very simple for you. We talk about metabolism. We talk about um, big topics like insulin resistance. And I try to help you understand how, um, what you're eating and how you're eating is gonna help you make the change. Um, and then by week three, we really get into some nitty gritty stuff and we're doing, we're talking about, you know, how to time food. So we're no longer just talking about what to eat, but why to eat, when to eat. And we start to talk about other things which are very important for your health and for weight loss. You know, healthy habits, controlling stress, getting tips for that. Uh, we talk about longevity. We talk about things like cancer. So big topics in week three. Um, so anyway, that's all of Accelerator. Uh, and after, let me see, what else did I want to tell you about that? I think that's everything. Following that beginner program, I have another, I have other programs in the path, what I call the pathway. So as you continue with a low carb diet, there's a very expected course. Um, and when I first did this, I recognized that course and I recognized when it would be beneficial for you to pick up some extra information and to maybe start making some changes to keep your progression moving, to keep you motivated, to keep everything moving along. So that's what evolution is as course number two and momentum as course number three. Those are just building on your knowledge that we started with in Accelerator and helping you make those little tweaks so that you can continue to progress forward. So, you should also know three times a year, I offer group fasting. Um, fasting is something that we talk about in week three of Accelerator when we talk about the timing of food. So that's your very first introduction to fasting. Um, and some people don't really get going with the fasting during Accelerator, but want more instruction specifically about that. And so my fasting programs are always super fun. Um, it's no fun to fast on your own, but it's super fun to fast in a group. So those are some of my biggest groups throughout the year. 
And the people that do fasting tend to come back to that over and over because it's just really fun. Um, and you can make some huge progress um, with uh, reaching your goals by adding more fasting into your program. So we do that. Um, the next one will be fall fasting. That is in end of October. You can already sign up for that if you want. And that's really to just to support us with getting through um, the fall holidays all the way up until Christmas. So just helps you. So when you want to, you know, indulge in those Christmas cookies and things, um, you don't set yourself back too far. Um, importantly, about all of my programs, they can run on any time zone. So I mentioned, you know, doing this with friends and family across the country. Uh, you can see, here's my map. Okay. And I love marking when I when I have friends join in from across the country. So these are your friends and family members. And, um, you know, we can put you on the same time zone. We can put them in different time zones. Generally, when I have one person come in, I will then blossom the flower of their friends and their local families and family members and neighbors. So I always um, typically will have different people in the time zones I can call in on and, and get them to join your group if you're in a different time zone. Um, if I have somebody in California and in New York, sometimes they'll, they'll want a, a middle time zone to meet on and, and do it that way. So we can do lots of things with time zones. Um, okay. So let's get to my live crew. My live crew is totally different. Um, my live crew is my everyday support group. So these are the people that even between programs are with me every single day. We are together on the app, just like you experience when you're in a program. Um, membership starts the moment you sign up in live and, um, my live team is always in contact whenever they want to be. So it's not overwhelming. We don't talk all day, every day. We're not like that. <laughs> we do talk at least once a day at noontime at noontime. I send education. Um, and very often if members have things to say, they'll talk around that time, um, about different things that they want to share. But every day you get, um, basically a brain download from me. So it may be a rant about what I'm experiencing in Accelerator with a beginner. <laughs> so, um, hey, Nora. <laughs> yeah, Nora is part of live group. Yes, it is so much fun. Um, so, you know, it might be my day, just day to day what I'm learning. Um, so they're getting the most up to date education. They get the education that eventually leads to some of my blog posts. So they're seeing that stuff um, first and we talk about it at length together. Um, and they're always getting my support. Um, so, oh, what else? Oh, my live team also gets um, a once weekly Zoom meeting, which is uh, usually on tonight. So usually Wednesdays at seven o'clock. Um, some members, not all members show up to that Zoom live. Not everybody, like I said, um, needs to be seen or wants to be seen, but others do. Um, others like to connect in that way. So um, each week, once a week, I basically get together with them and we talk about all the things that have been going on all week with us. Um, I talk to them about the topics that I sent out and why. Um, and then those meetings get recorded. So those are kept privately for those members and they can listen to them anytime. Sometimes they're listening to them on the way into work. So that's my life. Curious. <laughs> I love that. I'm glad. Yeah. Um, I've been considering doing it for a couple months now. Oh, yeah. Autumn, I would love you to join. Hi, everyone. Colleen's here. <laughs> Great. And Monica. Hi, guys. All right. So if you're wondering what kinds of things we exchange in the live group, um, a lot of it is review of what goes on in the programs. So um, I will have people join me even before Accelerator now. Thanks, Jojo, if you're listening. Um, she was the first one to do that. So as she was getting ready for Accelerator, she signed up well ahead of time and she was a little bit anxious and really wasn't sure how to get started. And I said, you know, why don't you join our live group? We're always talking about every program. So um, she's in my Accelerator group now, but she actually has been learning concepts from all the different programs. So if you want to get ahead or want to figure out how all things are connected, um, the live group is always working on that kind of stuff. Um, this week in particular, we focused on, um, the reality of weight loss. So, and this is one, one thing that comes up over and over again. We have some repeat topics. Um, I drew my team this nice graph this week. 
And if you saw the very first announcement for this discussion on email, um, I included this graph. So what this shows, if you just look, there's a straight line, right? If you look at that line, that's linear. And that's what people expect when we talk about um, weight loss. You know, they expect that if they're trying every single day that on the scale the following morning, they should see it. So, <laughs> and, and you know what, initially when you start low carb, it works that way. So um, very often you can lose a good amount of weight. Like in the first several months, um, it's not uncommon for people to lose like 15 to 30 pounds, really not uncommon, but it does not continue that way. Okay. So the more fat your body gives up, the more it protects what it has le left right? So your weight loss cannot continue to be linear. Um, the effects of your continued good choices with eating and con continued good habits become cumulative over time. So what do I mean by that? So an example I can give you is like if you were saving money to go on vacation, right? Um, and you add a dollar to the jar every day, let's say you needed $500 and you're going to add a dollar to the jar every day. When you start looking at those first few dollars in the jar, it can be very frustrating. If you're checking that jar every day, especially, it can look like you're getting nowhere and nothing is happening. Same thing happens when you're making good food choices and you're staying away from things that you know are going to influence you in a bad way. Um, every, little, every little thing that you do adds up. And over time, you keep doing it and doing it and doing it until you get to a critical point in time you know, when you actually see the weight loss or you're actually able to go on vacation. And my, all my programs teach you the tools to sort of speed up that process. So you can put pressure on it. You know, you can throw $3 into the jar. You can throw $5 into the jar. So these are doing things like, you know, adding things on. How many good meals are you doing in a day? How often are you staying on track? Are you avoiding things like alcohol that throw you way off track? Um, are you avoiding as many cheat days as possible? Uh, and, and you know what? And I expect you to not be perfect every single day because that's that's just not that's not life. And that's but you can expect to keep marching forward at a fast pace if you're not staying on track as much as possible. And that's perfectly OK. This is this is a lifetime commitment. Right. So if sometimes your progress is slower, perfectly OK. But I teach you the tools for how to speed it up as well. So there are days when you can throw five bucks in that bucket and, and get yourself ahead. And that's by including things like exercise, including more fasting. So my program teaches you how to do those things. Okay. Um, so that was some of the stuff we were talking about in my live group this week. Um, you know, what I try to get my lot, not just my live group, but all of my clients to focus on. Oh, Who's, oh, hi, Michelle. Live is amazing with all new faces who have become friends. We all have the same goals in common. Yeah, the live group is so fun. It really is. And we're, it's very supportive. It's my group. It's my support group. So I love it. Um, what, so what I try to teach those clients and all my clients is that you can be focused on your weight. I'm fine with that. I'm always focused on your health. And what I want you to, to know is that by staying on low carb continuously, you get to have all the health benefits every single day while you wait for the weight loss, right? So it's not something that you're suffering through day after day. You're happier. You're more motivated. You're more focused. These are amazing gifts of low carb. So if you can just focus on those things and just have patience and persistence with experiencing those things, um, then the weight loss will come. And I always tell people, don't think about the weight loss. And if getting on the scale drives you crazy, then then just don't, don't do that. Um, so anyway, that's that's always a focus. So what else? Hmm. Okay, so yeah, I guess that's it. So really that's kind of the bread and butter for my live team. Like we talk about this stuff all the time how not to be focused on weight and keep going. I'm sort of singing to the choir, but um, nonetheless, we review some of the basic concepts all the time. Um, but we also exchange some practical information. So um, this week, 
Nora had a question about, you know, what are your staples? Um, she happens to live in an area where it's difficult to get some of these better foods um, a lot of the time. So we exchanged pictures and I sent out today like pictures of my cabinets. What are the staples in my cabinet? How do I replace flour? How do I replace sugar? Um, what are the other things that I love to keep around for when I want treats and that sorts of things. So we exchange practical information. Um, this week we will be exchanging, Kati had a question about um, going away for long lengths of time. So when you're away from your kitchen, or your normal restaurants where you can rely on the foods for extended lengths of time. Um, how do we deal with that? So we'll talk about that as a group. And I'm not the only one that exchanges information. I have a lot of great experts in my group now who have lots of wonderful ideas. Um, we do challenges together. So I'm looking at, um, this was my April calendar. We did a challenge for who's staying track, who's staying on track. And I had a sticker for every day that I stayed on track. You can see in the month of April, I got an 87, a B plus. So that's not bad. I always say, you know, but if, if I had, if I'm 87% happy with my body, then that's, that's not bad. I think pretty good. Um, so we do challenges like that for fun. We will fast together. Um, so lots of things always going on in that live group. Um, my live group also has access to a special portal on my website. So if you're not in live, you're not even aware that this exists, but I have a portal on my website where I keep all my charts, all my drawings, all my expert videos, all my instructional videos for exercise, basically any tool that I use for every single program is there. And my VIP clients have access to that. So they can, they can get in and check all that out anytime they want and share it with family. Um, okay, so I think that's everything I wanted to say about all the programs to you guys tonight. I know my live crew wants to talk more about the things that we had going on this week, but we'll get to that next week. Um, so, okay. If you're wondering where to find me, I am everywhere. So it seems um, <laughs> you can find me on email. So that's Aaron on D at emergency um, You can take a look at my website. That's emergency um, On my website, you'll find my blog, which is loaded with extra education um, if people have questions in, in any of my programs, you know, I will often send you to my blog because I've already answered it in long form. So instead of sending you a little blurb or a text about this, I can write books at times. <laughs> um, my sign up page to receive email is also on that very first page on my website. So, um, make sure that you're signed up to receive email because I will often send out, um, you know, links to my blog, free education, sometimes coupons. So you want to make sure that you're on that email. And I don't, I don't send out emails a lot. I might send out three or four in a month would be a lot for me. Um, there's testimonials up the wazoo. I, I, I mean, I know I need to add more because they, they're always coming in and I'm always trying to update them. But if you want video, uh, not video, <laughs> I do have a video link. If anyone would like to leave me a video testimonial, I would love that. There's a link on my testimonial page to create a video. But I have plenty of pics and um, lots of uh, text, text testimonials. Um, so excited to be joining live. Oh, thanks, Kate. Love live. There's Sharon. Okay. Hey there, Sharon's on now. Sharon was my original guinea pig. And Monica, too. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> this program has been liberating. More time, energy, and ease of life. Yes, I know. Kate, stoked about getting out of my head and having some accountability. Great. Okay. Um, okay, where else to find me? I'm on Instagram. So I have a page, a uh, Facebook page, Emergency Emergency Health Fix Facebook page. I also have an Emergency Health Fix Instagram page. Um, if you want to know what I'm cooking up in my kitchen and what types of things I eat personally, I have loads of videos um, and took some damage this week <laughs> from some, some people watching some videos. Um, but anyway, um, loads of videos of what I cook. If you need to know about what I cook and you want it at your fingertips, you know these are on Amazon.com. So volume one, Emergency Health Fix Low Carb Cooking is the collection of recipes from all my clients, all the favorite foods that all of us have loved. Um, and volume two just got finished and went on sale there too. So these are $12.99. Pick them up on Amazon. You can get them both for 25 bucks. Great gift for your holidays, right? Um, I'm also on Twitter at ReardonMD. 
Uh, I'm on LinkedIn if you want to reach me there or you have a business that you want to link to me. Uh, so I have nurse practitioners and physicians who will sometimes refer patients directly to me when they're having issues or maybe they have a patient that really doesn't want to take medicine anymore. They'll send them to me. Um, I love your cooking videos. Thank you, Nora. <laughs> uh, both books are a must have them both. Yeah. Thanks, Sharon. So, oh, and yeah, Autumn, I know you're watching Instagram. Thanks. So um, what else? I have this YouTube channel. I really don't have much public on this channel. I have actually almost 100 private videos um, that my members have access to on this YouTube channel. And I'll probably do a few more of these live things, maybe maybe once a month, maybe once a quarter, I'm not sure. Um, but I may be adding to this. There's not too much going on in this. Um, my self-assessment is on this channel. So that's an important thing that anyone can look at and share. Um, I can also be found every morning in my gym. So if you've been a client of mine, you may know that there is a standing invite to join my morning exercise team. Um, whether you're part of a program or not, if you've been a part of a program, you can join me weekdays at 7.30, weekends, Saturday and Sunday at 8 a.m. Um, I'm happy if you just want to pop in and say hello and then not exercise with us. But if you, if you want to join with us, uh, join us and exercise, that would be great. I do post a calendar, um, usually on Instagram and Facebook. So if, you, if you're curious about what you'd be tuning into, um, there's usually a calendar posted once a month. Sundays is always a stretch day. So if you're if you're just up for a nice stretch with friends, um, Sunday is always a good time to join us at 8 a.m. If you don't have that link anymore, um, just email me. I'm happy to send it to you. So, all right. I think that's everything. Cookbooks are fabulous. Yay, thanks. <laughs> I'm cooking from them every night. Yes, I am also cooking from them every night. Like <laughs> so these are these are my recipes that I love. So they are the things I made them for me and then shared them with you. Um, and I'm glad that you guys are loving the workouts. So that's all I have for you guys. Um, thanks for tuning in and thanks for being a big part of my life and um, stay well. And please share with others because that's how that's how this message has been spreading you sharing with friends and family. So thanks so much for all your support, guys. Have a good night.